everybody welcome back to my channel today we are doing a peekaboo shirt with a tie-dye first again first tie-dye so um i wet it and i fold it in half i am still a very much a beginner on this whole tie-dye process but i find it fun i watch a lot of videos and learn neat techniques i try to um do but it's not really a guarantee but here i'm trying to follow the line that i made with my bowl the concept is i want to circle there because there will be a peace sign in the background plus this is for my awesome boss and she loves peace signs and circles so i told her months ago about this idea when i first um, started doing sublimation and seeing peekaboo shirts and I thought boss's day would be perfect time to do it for her so that's what I'm doing I'm putting rubber bands around where I made my pleats for my circle I kind of just fan it out and I try to keep with the plate the pleats <laughs> and uh I just keep putting more rubber bands on it because I wanted to have the circles going of different colors around first. And then a couple more. And by the way, if you have noticed, I do writ, um, use writ um, dye. And I believe I'm going to do a little bit more pleats. Um, at this time, I really 100% didn't know how it was going to turn out, but I had high hopes, so. <laughs> um, this is a men's shirt. Um, I bought, it's like in a, a three packet. Uh, and it's a v-neck. So, I couldn't really find a woman's shirt I wanted. So, this right here will give a scrunch effect. It's, um little different so I thought do circles and then do scrunch at the bottom and at the top so that's pretty much what you do you just scrunch it up rubber band it trying to get to stay together I'm happy with how it is so it's time to go to the sink I use a rack over my sink this makes for a lot less of a mess at the end. And I use squeezy bottles. Um, also a, um, what was it called? <laughs> oh, a cup. I ran out of squeezy bottles, so. You can use whatever you have on hand. A cup and a spoon work just fine too. Um, remember, I'm just learning this, I'm not, I'm nowhere near a pro, but I find it a lot of fun. So I keep adding this, and I flip it over, and I will do the same on the other side. You don't have to, but I did. Um, after you're happy with your dyeing, I have read online you can wrap it with saran wrap, put it in your microwave with a towel and a paper towel for two minutes on high. So I did that. And then once that was done, I let it set for 24 minutes, uh, 24 hours um, out to let it dry. You don't have to do the microwave, but I found it to maybe possibly help. Usually when I tie dye, my stuff becomes kind of dull and not as cool looking. So um, here I am um, running it under cold water I've read that if you run it under cold water with the ties on it first it will help set the um, or help rinse it and keep the white white um, not 100% sure if it helped but it seemed like it did and then I pulled off the rubber bands rinsed it off with a little more cold and then I switched to hot it helps um, the hot water helps set the the dye so and as I put on there lots of rinsing 
I was so excited once I opened it up. It, is, <laughs> it turned out so much nicer than I expected. It was it was so cool. Look at that. Isn't it cool? Look how vibrant those colors are. I mean, I, I've never had one turn out so nice. I, I'm very happy with it. I rinse more with my hot water. There we go. And I want to show you guys a little more. Excuse my kitchen. <laughs> And there we go. Oh, it's so cool. Look how nice that is. Yep, get as much dye out as you can. So I'm going to lay it out for you. There it is on the counter. And then I take it and I put it on a, in a fast wash. I use detergent and some fabric softener. And I launder it and dry it, and it's still pretty vibrant. I mean, I'm really impressed on how it turned out. So here we go. Now we're at my press. Um, we are going to press it on a double brushed um, polyester knit. I want it to be nice and soft. Um, peace sign, I printed it off of Canva. Um with my Epson WF7210 with Hypo um, ink and sublimation paper. I press it for 60 seconds at 375, I believe. And look at that awesomeness, it's so cool. So all right, now we're gonna turn it into where it's gonna be attached to the actual inside of the shirt. We are gonna use Ultra Bond, um, Heat Bond. So I put it up right to the next of the um, design. You always want to make sure that bumpy side is down so it adheres to the fabric. Be careful, iron is really hot. It's on wall setting, I believe. No steam. Do not use steam, it will mess it up. I've not done it, but I've been I've read it and I've been told I've been told not to. <laughs> there we go. And it's there. It's ready, you know. Now we get the shirt. I have to do different yeah, determine where I wanna put the um design. Then you turn it inside out. I sped this all up so you guys have to <laughs> watch me fiddle with it too too much. You always make sure you've got the front of your shirt inside out. So I have a small enough cutting mat that I put it right up in there. You can use cardboard or whatever too, but I just use the cutting mat. There we go. And here comes my bowl again. Now I want to trace it. I want to trace the bowl because instead of a regular rectangle or square or miscellaneous um, shape, I decided I'm going to cut into a circle. I thought it'd be a little different. I haven't seen anybody do actual shapes other than like a rectangle or a square. So I'm sure somebody has, but I haven't seen it. I've been wanting to do this for a while, so now it's time for my cutting guide this is kind of cool it's got a guide where you can run your blade i did not catch what the brand name was on that but hopefully you could i've had this thing for so long there we go happy with it so I went and put some tape along the side right there. Kind of shows which ones to do the slices down. And then I try to cut extremely careful because I have a fear that I'm gonna cut myself. That's 
one good thing about this guide. I mean, you could still do it. Don't get me wrong, but it, it helps. I like to use this for quilting. It helps with the squares sometimes. So there I, I try to stop at the line for the circle, by the way. Now you lay your design face down and make sure you have it the right um, way. Like the bottom of the piece sign needs to be at the bottom of the shirt type direction. And here you need to line it up, make sure it covers all the cuts as much as possible. Then I had to put a little piece of tape on it because my ironing board, I needed to slide under it. And I didn't want to lose where I wanted it, so I take the tape off because I don't really want to hit that with the iron. It's not heat tape, and who knows what I'd do to my fabric. Mm. Iron it. Careful. Bad boy's hot. Here we go. Happy with it. I'm so excited. Oh, it turned out so cool. I've watched others, they say to pull it a little bit and stretch them out. And then I, I had to um, snip a little bit more just to make it a little, a little more to it. What do you guys think? Isn't it awesome? I'm so excited. I'm quite jealous that I want one now. Um, it turned out really cool. Let me, get, let me know how you guys feel about it in the comments. I hope this inspires you to do some. And if you did like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. We've got all kinds of fun things we do. Um, also like this video. And thank you so much for watching. It means the world to us. Thank you guys. Have a nice night.